Hi, Scent Friends. Hope you're having an awesome day. Just wanna chat with you today about why we mix fragrances and how to do it. There might be any number of reasons why you would wanna pair or make a combo of different fragrances, and there are lots of reasons. This was a little bit of a friend requested video. My friend Lisa, she said, you know, you should really talk about pairing things or blending things and how that can affect your whole scent. And she's right. I touched on this a little bit in some other videos, particularly the last video or the one before that, we talked about how to layer scents to make them last forever. So you'll see a little bit about that there, but also just in applying your perfume, mixing those can really have a lot of benefits. So let's chat about it. One reason you might do it is to make the fragrance seem to last longer because some last longer than others. And being that I like to cover a lot of different fragrances and a lot of budget friendly fragrances, they don't necessarily last forever. They're not necessarily beast mode, which I'm not going for anyway with my allergy situation. So I tend to go for lighter scents that need more application, whether it be when I first put it on or even reapplying through the day, and I don't mind it. I will do it. Um, I sometimes had rather do that than the fragrance be extremely strong off the bat. That's just not for me. I know it's for some people, it's just not for me. So it can make your scent last longer though to mix them. It can emphasize, <laughs> emphasize the notes you love by blending a couple that have something fabulous in common. Say you really like a berry note and you could choose two scents with a berry note and some of the other notes among them are gonna play differently. So that might be a reason to do it. You could also de-emphasize the notes that you don't like. There might be something you're not as fond of. For me, I don't like a strong musk. So I will oftentimes try to avoid scents with very much musk, or if I end up with a kind of muskier scent than I bargained on, I'm gonna mix it with something that doesn't have a musk note. Also, this was Lisa's point. She's correct, I feel it as well. It's your opportunity to really create something unique by whatever you pair together, other people probably aren't. So you're not gonna smell like everyone wearing What's a cliche one right now? Sorry, I, not this is no shade, but Ariana Grande Cloud or one of the Cloud fragrances are super popular right now, but you're not gonna smell like everyone else wearing Cloud if you mix Cloud with something else you also enjoy. So that's one way to feel like you have your own unique vibe going. And there's the fact of it's just a better scent a lot of times when it's mixed. You might find you get more compliments when you put two together than you had before. And here's a little analogy for you. I'm kind of a salad dressing snob. Like I don't really love, love salad anyway. So I like dressings that are put together at home or something like that. Like I might do a wishbone Italian, not the pre-bottled kind, the mixed packet, because for whatever reason, when I put it together at home, it's just better. It tastes better. It's not me being cocky. Like it just has a better flavor by the fact of you more freshly put it together. It's kind of the same with fragrance. The things you more recently put together, it's going to smell nice. It has its own effect. So just take my word for it and try it. And how to mix, number one, is just practice. Like you just need to practice putting things together that you enjoy and seeing how it works. So what I do typically is I think, how would I change this scent if I could? Sometimes I want something that's a little sweeter. So for example, Fineries Before the Rainbow, it's uh, I believe a bit inspired by Jo Malone with Sage and Sea Salt, okay? So it's that kind of vibe, a lot of bergamot or bergamo, however you pronounce it, some citrus, it's got a little bit of, it's very zesty, it's salty. It's kind of marine-like, I love it. It's very unisex as well, but let's say I wanna make it a little bit sweeter. I would add Fineries Sweet on the outside, which is kind of their, they, they were inspired by Eilish for this one. So mixing these two together is a beautiful combination. And it also will help take the scent from what is typically more summery feel into something more multi-seasonal by making it a little sweeter. 
Hope that makes sense. So if you wanna make something sweeter, think of a fragrance that has vanilla or tonka or bourbon. Those are the notes that are going to make it have that sweetness that you're craving. You might wonder, how do I find out the notes? There's a website called Fragrantica. It's amazing. It's probably my favorite. I consider it a social media platform. It's my favorite because all we're doing is talking fragrance over there, but it'll tell you if you look up a, a fragrance, it'll tell you all the notes that are in it. So if you're looking for something sweet, you're looking for vanilla, you can find it there. Okay, you might have a fragrance and think to yourself, I just want it to be a bit more feminine um, and you want that kind of vibe. And, you know, fragrance doesn't have to be a gendered thing. Like I do sometimes wear what is considered a uh, male fragrance. And I know a lot of males wear what are considered feminine fragrance. But you know what I'm saying when I say feminine, uh, that it typically means that you might be looking for something that has a little bit of rose or jasmine or white flowers that typically will make something feel more feminine. So going back to before the rainbow, it doesn't, really have much floral vibe to it, but I put with it Paris Hilton's Rosé Rush, which is a very beautifully blended rose fragrance. And I wear these together. Yeah, my son was approving the other day. So he's like, ooh, what are you wearing? He liked it well enough. So if it's good enough for my teenage son, it's good enough for me. Um, and that's just something you could put together. When you want something more feminine, again, look for rose, jasmine, white flowers. If you're looking to make your scent a little drier, okay? Sometimes scents can just come off as um, too cloyingly floral or for me, a little bit too juicy, fruity. I don't know how to make that make sense without just you smelling it. But if it's just too juicy, I like I really love something that's drier or more powdery. So we'd be looking for notes like iris, cardamom, or smoke to be in their composition. So here's an example. Uh, Ariana Grande's Ari, which is her first fragrance, I believe. It's really nice. It is kind of juicy, it's sweet. It's kind of got a juiciness to it. It also has a little bit of powderiness, but if I wanna make it more powdery, I could add Neon Moon from Pacifica, which is a clean fragrance as well. And this has become one of my fragrances that I layer with a lot of things because it, it just, it's such a nice, almost like skin scent, but better. And so you could mix these together and they're very lovely. And sometimes you might have a fragrance and you just want it to be richer or more mysterious smelling. And in that instance, you could add something like patchouli or sandalwood or oak moss. And to give an example, Bath and Body Works Pure Wonder. It's a fruity floral, really, really beautiful scent. But for evening, I might put with it White Diamonds Night, which is a pretty patchouli heavy smell. And I do really like to mix this one with other things. It just gives them depth. And on its own, it's just, it's a lot of sweet patchouli, but it works so well with a lot of other things. So I just hope that you will be adventurous this week. Try out putting together some different fragrances and see how it works for you. I wanna know in the comments what you like to pair and why. Please comment with that. And thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and like if you haven't already. Thanks so much. Bye.